Hi guys, uh, this is Harry and this is just a quick tutorial on how to use one of my favourite tools which is Simple Scraper. Now if you don't know um, what a web scraper is, um, it says it here, you basically can extract data from any website, um, you can then you know, download it, you can put it on a spreadsheet, use it for a project or an app, um, you can create an API, I mean the, the limits here, um, you know, there really are no limits to what you can do. Um, I'd say scraping's become one of my favourite tools, if not my favourite tool um, of, of my whole stack. Um, I just find it's really useful, it saves so much time. So I'm just going to show you a quick um, kind of demonstration here, but be aware that you know the, the limits are endless and there are so many different sites that you can scrape including ones that are behind logins um, and you can scrape in the cloud as well which is called crawling um, I'm going to take you to my dashboard here I really recommend simple scraper um, it is uh, I'm obviously I don't get any um, you know anything for saying that unfortunately but uh, it's just because the guy who who runs it called Mike is super super nice um, you can actually just click down here um, and you can chat with him um, and he's great he gets back to you really quickly and helps you out with any recipes anyway um, I'll come to recipes they're on the side here but if you set it up go to your dashboard you can get a free account and you can start with some free credits I'm a paid subscriber but you can start with free credits so you can get started straight away um, the documentation will, will tell you how to do it but it's quite simple you basically download um, <clears throat> A uh, add-on to the to the Chrome browser. It's only available at Chrome, in Chrome at the moment. So we're going to start by scraping our first site. So you can do this, as I've said, with many different sites in many different ways. I'm just going with YouTube because it's the first one that I've um, that's come to my head. So here we are. Uh, let's say we want to scrape a particular type of video. Um, you know, perhaps you're looking for perhaps you're looking for tutorials for a specific thing. So let's go with uh, Webflow Tutorial, let's enter there. So let's say you, this is the information that you want to scrape and you want to scrape this into a database. Let's just scroll down. Uh, is it unlimited scroll these days on YouTube? Yes. <laughs> I haven't been on YouTube for a while. It is. Um, in which case, uh, I'll come to that in a second. But Whenever you're on whatever website you want to scrape, you click up here and you click scrape this website and it's going to bring this up, add a property. So you click the add and now you want to select the property that you're going to, to scrape as kind of um, your first column, if you like. Um, I'm going to choose the title to start. So let's just, um, also it says here, if click not possible, press shift over highlighted element. Now. I, it says in the official documentation to click, I think. So, you know, you click to select um, the CSS areas um, in order to select the property that you want. But here it says that because it's quite buggy. So I would suggest not clicking at all and to do shift the whole time. So I'm going to hover over the title here, press shift. It's going to select one. You sometimes have to teach uh, the rest of the site to pick up on the element because I think this one is because it's a slightly different um, box this as it's an add so for example if I go down to the next one and click shift as well you'll now see that it selected all of the titles um, not that because that's a playlist but you can see it's all selected all of the video titles so we're going to rename that as well just a title and click the tick we're now going to go for the, what we want next now we're going to want to click the description. So let's hover over the description, press shift again. And you can see, now this is actually, this is good um, because you can see here, it's got a bit confused and it's offered me this box here. Now this is for being quite specific. If websites can get um, confused, you can clarify the section that you want. So here, only this, I'm going to tick that only this I only want the description I don't want any of the other things that it said uh, and I don't need to click all of those but you can see now that I've taught it that I only want to get the description and not also the channel name etc and the title which it accidentally selected so now that we've taught that let's put a uh, description for that or whatever you want to name it click tick 
Um, this is the thing with scrapers. You will see stuff like this. You'll see, oh, hang on, there's 97 and 99. That doesn't quite add up. It can be buggy. It can be buggy. Um, it's just the way it, where it's at right now. But you can teach it, and if you put enough work into it, you can you can teach it to do it, do the stuff you need it to do. Now I'm going to click the next thing. So I'm going to click Add, and we're going to go for the channel link. So let's hover over that and click Shift. Um, again, this is a slightly different one, it being an ad, although it has selected quite a lot. It's 138 there. Um, so it's done some of them. Uh, hover over here. There we go. So it seems to have done that correctly. So let's type channel there. Tick. Now that we've got a few details, um, we're going to go over here and you can see that it's either got a pagination element or an infinite scroll element uh, that you can click on. Um, now what we want here is for this, I, uh, the last time I used YouTube search it was um, pagination. Um, but I don't know what that says about me. But uh, So it's infinite scroll, this site, so we're going to click infinite scroll there. And that just basically lets the scraper know that it's an infinite scroll page. If you were to do, uh, if it was a pagination site where it's, you know, at the bottom it's got one to ten or however many pages, you would click that first, you'd scroll down, you'd find, um, you know, whatever the number, whatever the next page element was, usually an arrow kind of down here, and you would tap shift, then that would go green as well, like this has gone green. And that would teach the scraper to know. Um, to click the button for when you do cloud scraping or crawling, as I mentioned earlier. Um, it would know to click that button in order to get onto the next page and scrape all of them, etc., etc. So you can scrape loads of pages and get loads of data. Um, now that we've done that, anyway, that's done. We're going to click View Results, and it's going to do it quite quickly. Here we are. So uh, this has got the date and time that I have scraped, and it's got um, information of how many rows and all of the properties. Now you can see this is what it will look like in a table preview. Um, it's got the name of the channel, uh, the link of the channel, um, which it took from that same element, uh, which is useful, the description and the title. Uh, now that's great. You can now go down and click download that in a CSV, um, in JSON. Now just to show you, if you click that, uh, as I said, you can download the CSV. Just to show you that's what it could look like um, of course you can then change that to what you might like um, but also you can go up here go to integrate and you can see you can look up, um, hook up Google Sheets uh, by activating here logging into your Google account and it will link directly there which is awesome also it's got a web hook um, service here which is awesome and you can see that you know, the kind of great things you could do with automation tools as well. Um, having these uh, things, if you go to edit as well, uh, on the three dots and edit and scroll down, you can uh, schedule them for, you know, hourly, daily, or um, and many other features, which, you know, you can see the, the limitless possibilities there for automating kind of database scraping. Um, and you know that can then trigger different things in, in Zapier or Integromat. So it's got loads of possibilities. So that's basically it. You've done your first scrape. Uh, this was a basic tutorial and a kind of an introduction to web scraping and to simple scraper uh, .io. But if there is demand for it, I'll do another video on crawling, um, which is kind of taking it to the next level. It's probably my favorite feature. Essentially, you can put a list of URLs here and automate a list of URLs from another scrape so that you could, for example, as we've done, scrape the information off YouTube, but then you could also, within that, click into each individual page and then scrape the information from this page. So, for example, say the comments and the user um, information. So that would be crawling or um, spidering, I think it's also called. Uh, which is essentially kind of scraping multiple pages in the cloud. And I, um, as I said, if there's demand for it, I'll do a video on that. But thank you so much, everyone. Hope you're all keeping well. Take care, launchers. Chat to you soon. Bye.